Teen idol David Cassidy was arrested in California this past week for driving under the influence of alcohol. It's Cassidy's third alcohol-related offense since 2010. If you recall, he was arrested last year in Skodak for drunk driving. Cassidy's repeat offenses makes us wonder just under what circumstances a repeat offender might actually lose his license or face real legal consequences that deter any future offenses. And here to break that down for us is attorney Paul Harding from the law firm of Martin Harding and Mazzotti. And Paul, always good to see you. And obviously this is a very topical subject right now and yeah. unfortunate too for, sure uh, for everyone involved. I mean, for David Cassidy and certainly anybody who's on the road when these kinds of incidents happen. But why don't we start by talking about the legal consequences of a drunk driving conviction here in New York? Yep, you know, you've had a situation here where you, DWAI, we've heard the term, is driving while ability impaired. It's 0.06 or 0.07 of your blood alcohol content. Below that, it's okay to drive. Above that, uh, it's DWI, which is in fact a misdemeanor. And then as you accumulate these offenses, um, that's when things keep getting worse and worse. Your loss of license, uh, jail time, big fines. And so with David here, uh, he's got one pending right now in Skodak. He mm -hmm. had one four years ago. And then, of course, the breaking news of him getting the one in California. Yeah, and, and so, I mean, just using him as an example, but in any case like this, what does it take to get someone with this kind of uh, record off the road? Yeah, you know, it is a situation where if you have a DWI, misdemeanor, you're going to get your license suspended. And you're not going to be able to drive, but you can have a conditional license, which will allow you to do certain things. Now, if your blood alcohol content is too high, even on that, you can have a, a six-month uh, revocation of your license. So mm -hmm. the rules are, are pretty strong here. And, and what we have in New York is, is, is something that's sort of, again, relatively uh, uh, breaking, is that the Governor Cuomo has put something forth, a, a rule that said if you have more than three DWI offenses in your lifetime, He's trying to put forth a lifetime ban, and, and that would be the first state. We'd be the first state to do that and something that I, I think we need. Okay, so, and, and just lastly, we can, I mean, his three prior cases are in three different states. There's yeah. Florida, New York, and California. How does that come into play? Well, it's going to be a factor. The district attorney in Skodak is looking at this case. He's got one pending, right? His other one was four years ago, and now he has this one in California. So when you go to set up a plea bargain, you go to go to work out a deal, which is what they do in these alcohol related offenses, you see does the person get it? Are they was yeah. it a mistake? Are they progressing? And here we see it as it appears, you know, that David is kind of going down a slippery slope. So it will affect what his outcome is in Skodak. We're just going to have to wait and see. All right. Well, we appreciate it. And then maybe when that does happen, we can talk about it again. And if you have a question for Paul or anyone at Martin Harding and Mazzotti, email them. What are your rights at CBS6Albany.com? And I'm sure they'll be glad to help out.